Hey, hey, what's going on, fam? Brother Hill checking in with another video. Midday, what you say, baby? Man, I'm out here getting my workout on, getting my sweat on. You know, I pray you guys have been blessed, getting in that word, staying prayed up, handling business. You know, I'm going to keep constantly reminding you. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Educate. Anyway, man, I'm out here at my park, man, right up from the house, get my aerobics on. And, uh... You know, I just came and seen that my, the doggone bathroom is burnt down, man. You know, this bathroom is convenient. You know, while we out here walking, you know, you might have to step down, use the restroom, take care of business, whatever the case may be. But I just wanted to just give you guys a generalized idea of what us living in a state of rebellion, living in a state of not knowing what we ought to know, looks like when God has called us and adopted us into sonship into his household what it looked like when we allowed the devil to rule our lives man you know it looked like a little house a little shack it had two two receptacles you know side by side and it's all burned up and and jacked up man and, and man i got a revelation while i was out here walking i said man that's representation like with us you know not taking care of business in the house we're not living and lining up with the word of god you know we neglect in the household, but we take care of our own stuff, which, by the way, don't belong to us. No ways, as I'm constantly learning as I grow and educate, you know, uh, when we say the word Lord, you know, that means owner. So the Lord owns everything. If Jesus is your Lord, he owns you, the house, the fields, the water, the money, the job, all of that stuff. Grocery store, it's all his. And he talks about that, man, many a times about taking care of his house and how haggy, I believe. But uh, when we let the devil have a foothold, bro, it, it, it just it's not good for the house. You know, it's like Will Smith, Colton, Hillary and Ashley letting all the people in Bel Air just come and run through Judge Philip Banks and Vivian Banks, them house doing what they won't have while parties smoke liquor smoke weed drink liquor fornicate and all that in their house throw pool parties every day non-stop you know and just show complete utterly disrespect to their their guardians you know their mom and dad and their uncle the same principle with us man you know, god sent us here to take care of business for him jesus restored us back to him through the power of the holy spirit man and when you were born again into that country, we got rules and laws and principles to abide by. And that's what it's about. Staying lined up, that righteousness, seeking first to get in the house. How do I get back home? Well, Jesus was a prime example of that, the prodigal son. Now, a lot of us, we like to play the role of the second brother. Get saved, get born again, and hold our homes cross in the house and throw stones, verbal stones at the brothers and sisters that's still out there in the pig pen. You know, God like, nah, man, do what Jesus did. Jesus seen what happened to his brother, Adam one, and that fell in the garden. He left, Father, I'll take the hit. Came down here, corrected misconception. This is what I meant. This is what I meant. The kingdom of heaven is like, the kingdom of heaven is like, your citizenship is this, your citizenship is this, not your membership. And I've been learning that, it's important to know the difference between being a member and being a citizen. When you're a citizen, man, you got rights. Check yourself. You got rights in whatever country you're in. You call the police, they got to come. You put your garbage out to the curb, they got to come. You know what I'm saying? You pay your tithes, you can make, uh, you pay your, your, your taxes, you can make demands on the government. You don't run red lights, you stop at all the red lights, you uphold the law, you ain't killing people, stealing from people, causing disruption in the community. The law works for you. They protect you. The complete opposite when you do the when you do the opposite. You break the law, they're looking for you. You break the law, you got to pay your dues. You break the law, you got to go get removed from the community that you are in, you know? And they put you away. So that's what Jesus was basically trying to lay out for us to see. You know? Everything went wrong. Big brother left home, came back. Restore young brothers, got them right, and for whatever reason, yet again, little brothers is falling back off. 
got to get it got to get it together man this is about us knowing who we are as a citizen and a member of a household that is greater than this place called earth that produced this place called earth and staying lined up with those laws it's our first order of business staying right with the kingdom of heaven you know trying to get right trying to stay right so that all of these things that we've been perverted uh over or with that we supposed to naturally just get from being good law-abiding citizens it'll come to us you know dr monroe made a very validated point man money is a lousy boss if you're just going to work working for money if you're just going to work uh, running a business just for money it's a lousy boss it sucks you know but if you're using your job your business your platforms uh your influence whatever to bring forth the culture the influence of the kingdom of heaven you gotta take care of you man and you ain't right standing you ain't breaking the laws you know trying to bust a houdini on the law and demanding making demands pay my rent pay my light i need a call and all this other stuff like jesus said